Well, hey, thanks for joining me for another Daily Touchpoint. I've got my CA Men's Conference t-shirt on, and I want to invite men, come and register and be with us for our Men's Conference on May 13th and 14th at Christian Assembly. You can register at cachurch.com. Well, today's daily reading is 1 Timothy chapter 3. And 1 Timothy is a little letter in the New Testament that Paul has written to a man named Timothy. Timothy's a young man who's leading a local church of believers. Paul says, you, you can't do this by yourself, Timothy. You've got to reach out and you've got to include others who will help to carry the church with you and to lead the church with you. He starts out saying, If anyone desires to be a leader in the church, anybody desires to help others live life with God, that's a good thing to desire, Paul says. It's good if somebody says, I want to live a life that helps others live with Jesus. And so Paul says, if that's true of anybody in your church, they want to live like that, then here are some qualities, and I don't have time to list all the qualities of a leader in the local church that Paul does. You can look at it in chapter 3. But the thing is, the qualities are not intended to disqualify us. They are intended to tell us these are qualities that God can form in your life and in my life. In fact, if you look at the list of qualities of a leader in the church, you'd say, well, I want those to be true of me. I mean, that's the way I want to live. I want to be someone like this. And so here's what I want you to do today, is I want you to take kind of just an assessment of your life and think about this question. What are some some qualities that God needs to keep developing in me so that I can live a life that helps lead others to do life with Jesus. That's the question that Paul wants us to ask from 1 Timothy 3. What qualities does the Lord need to keep maturing in me, developing in me? What are some qualities that need to to maybe... uh, die away in my life? And what are some qualities that need to be new or renewed in my life so that the way I'm living, I can help some others live life with Jesus? That's my desire today, and I want to pray that the Lord would help you in that process of maturity as well. Would you pray with me? Lord, we do offer you our day. We offer you our lives. God, we offer you all that is true of us today, knowing that you've still got some work to do in us. You've still got some qualities that you want to help to take out of our lives, and and you've got some qualities that you want to keep helping to make new in our lives, to renew in our lives, to restore in our lives. And so, Lord, I pray, God, that you would help us today to follow your lead and to trust you to make of us what we cannot make of ourselves so that we might live lives that help others live life with Jesus. Help us to live that kind of life to help carry people forward in your mission of the gospel, your message of grace, and the life that you're calling us all to live. Help us to live lives so that we might help others live life with Jesus. We trust you to do that work in us. And we pray all this in Jesus' name, and we say together, amen.